Good man. Brezzy, you uh, clearly would have had a very um, physically robust background. You played your rugby, so you would have been match fit, I suspect, for, for this cycle, were you? Well, I uh, took on, uh, due to my own kind of mental health issues, I, yeah. I took on triathlon training in January. And I just felt it was the best way I had of dealing with it. And as Jim says, competing with the war is... Uh, I, I suffer from general anxiety disorder. I have, yeah. I have done since I was well, 15. What, what is that? It's, it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, yeah, as much as you can. General anxiety disorder mm. is basically everybody gets it. Everybody gets that nauseating, yeah. nervous pain, tight chest, uh, you know, before exams and stuff. General anxiety is that pretty much 24-7. Yeah. Um, it's uh, coupled with uh, insomnia. It, it's just a, a really debilitating, kind of consuming stress that yeah. you can't get rid of. And I've suffered from it since kind of, fi like, I suppose, 14, 15 years of age. I, I used to think I had really bad asthma because I couldn't catch my breath, I really? couldn't breathe. It's not bad. Yeah, and it just, I think it developed in my 20s uh, to the point where I had, even last year, and I speak about this, and it, it's probably, it was kind of a hard thing to speak about. Yeah. But the second live show last year on The Voice, I remember uh, just being in my room at quarter past six about to go on the show and, and being completely, my chest tightening up, my legs went from underneath me, I couldn't swallow, couldn't breathe. I'd ripped my shirt and we had four or five minutes before we had to be on air. And you know, you know yourself, you get that call, Sure. Your body tenses up, and I just didn't know how. I had to get, I had to go very, very deep. It's like a panic attack. Of some it was sort. a full-on panic, but full I've on. had them constantly throughout yeah. my teenage life. Are people and surprised to hear you? Because they'd see you as, you know, a quite a confident person, mm -hmm. frontman of a band, and uh, you know, front uh, of house with with the voice and everything. Are people surprised to hear you talking like that? They are, yeah. And there's there's no point in denying. Like I, I do these uh, talks, and I think that's the most important thing for me in this cycle is we talk to students uh, and schools. Mm -hmm. And that you can see their faces when I tell them the yeah. stories, and like that, I, I, you know, I am vulnerable, and like I'm like everybody else. Yeah. Mental illness does, men, mental illness doesn't really have, doesn't pick its victims. You know, it, uh, I, I say to them, you know, everything's going great for me. I, I'm, I'm enjoying my career. It's going in the right direction. I've got an amazing family. Yes. But yet, still, I have this mental illness that 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 I cope with. And the real point I'm trying to get across to the kids is that I deal with it. And I completely deal with it. Are you are you surprised by their reaction? Are you are you gladdened by what they oh, say? Oh, it's to incredible. You? I, I I've never been, and like, I'm not saying this in any kind of kind of television way, but I've never felt the kind of inspiring kind of last couple of days really? for me personally. And it's quite a selfish thing in a way, one way, because what I'm getting out of this is incredible. And I've just wiped out my diary this week. I, I said to Jim, I can do one cycle. I have to go back and do the finish the show, and then I have to go back and rehearse next week.